Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation on January 1, 1863, it declared that all persons held as slaves within the rebellious states shall be then, thenceforward, and forever free. History records that this was the moment when America's enslaved peoples were freed, but this was not the first time such a proclamation had been made. In fact, it had happened some 84 years earlier, just a stone's throw from the Hudson River in downtown Yonkers, New York, in what today is the oldest building in Westchester, Phillips Manor Hall. It was the family seat of Frederick Phillips III, who owned the massive Phillipsburg Manor, a 52,000-acre estate that stretched along the Hudson River, encompassing much of western and lower Westchester. During the Revolution, Phillips remained a loyalist, and the hall was at times used as a headquarters by the British. It was here, in the summer of 1779, that Lieutenant General Sir Henry Clinton, commander of all British forces in North America, issued his Phillipsburg Proclamation. It offered freedom to any enslaved person of African descent who would leave their patriot enslavers to go behind British lines where they could either join the British army or pursue any occupation which he shall think proper. A tempting offer. But Clinton's real goal was not abolition. His purpose was to destroy an important source of American labor by confiscating the enemy's enslaved population. Accordingly, loyalists were not covered by the proclamation. The enslaved people in those households would continue in bondage. As many as 2,000 enslaved men, women, and children did escape to find refuge with the British in New York City, and many more in South Carolina and Virginia. But their fate was by no means secure. Many were returned or sold back into bondage, and those that did attain legal freedom experienced pervasive racism and discrimination. After the war, the confiscated lands of Phillipsburg Manor were sold at public auction, purchased primarily by the former tenant farmers, some of whom continued to depend upon the involuntary labor of enslaved persons, until New York finally abolished slavery in 1827. Today, Phillips Manor Hall is a state historic site. It serves as a museum of history, art, and architecture, as well as host to community meetings, educational programs, and special events in the heart of a thriving downtown and waterfront district in southern Westchester County.